Hello and welcome back to Shine Be Fine Arts. Today I'm going to demonstrate painting at this dancer in a loser style. Uh, all of you who have been following me and watching my videos, you would see that I generally paint a lot of different kind of subjects, but everything in realism. And no, I am not moving away from it. I still am a fan of realism and love working in it. However, under certain circumstances, I find it uh, uh, that it is sometimes easier for artists to paint in a loser style. It is even more beneficial to paint in a loser style. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can paint in a loser style, get away from your tight style, and I'm going to also talk about what are the advantages in, about painting in a loser style. Uh, so let's follow along and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Unless you do that, you're going to miss out on upcoming videos. I'll be coming back with new videos every Wednesday and Friday and sometimes some bonus videos as well. Thank you for watching and subscribe. I'm starting off with blocking the background very loosely with combination of blue, purple and white and you can see that I am not even going anywhere near a mop brush like I generally do in backgrounds and I'm being very sketchy, very painterly, my brush strokes are all showing because my end goal here is to paint in a very very loose style. Let me first talk about what are the advantages of doing this. Whenever somebody is starting off painting, let's start with that, uh, sometimes realism is very daunting at that point because it takes a lot of time, a lot of patience, a lot of detailing, especially if it is a smaller painting like this one is 11 by 14 and even smaller. Uh, then like very small areas like hands, feet, face, they are going to be very daunting to do in realism and finish the tiny tiny details properly. However, if you paint in a loser style, you could get the feel of the painting, the uh, body. It, it will still be very representational. At the same time, you will be able to do it much quickly, much easily and get the satisfaction of painting. So if you're a beginner, that could really be a way to start and that would be beneficial just to have get the feeling of finishing paintings and doing artworks fast. Secondly, uh, say if you're not a beginner anymore, an intermediate or an advanced artist, some people do tend to like to paint in a loser style. They do not like to um, nudge over teeny tiny details and uh, realism and hyper realism and that is totally okay. Art is what you want it to be. If you like that painterly loser look then definitely that is a way to go. So that is another uh, reason why people paint up uh, in a loser style. And the third thing is that it is a much simpler, faster process. So say if you are a plein air painter and you want to go outside and paint, if you paint in a loser style, you could finish a whole painting in say about two hours as opposed to realism where it might take hours and hours at a time and the sunlight is constantly changing. So there you can see that there are definitely benefits on painting in a loser style no matter um, how uh, at what stage of painting you are in whether you're a beginner or an advanced painting and that is totally a matter of choice whether you want to paint in realism or a loser style so moving on from that few key things if you want to paint in a loser style you can see that I am using a fairly large brush if you want to paint in a painterly loser style impressionistic style definitely use a bigger brush that you would generally use to paint details or paint it with realism and do not worry about blending things in uh, just 
you know get the general feel try to catch the lights try to catch the movement don't worry about the details try to get the general feel and movement and motion and light and shadows and values pay more attention to those um, aspects of your painting and drawing as you can see everywhere in this painting as i'm blocking in i'm going on very loosely just generally blocking in uh, with colors and uh, i'm using the brush i'm holding the brush fairly far away from the barrel i'm almost holding a midway which i generally don't do if i'm painting details when i'm practicing realism this is also one important thing if you want to paint in a loser style and you're beginning in it do definitely hold the brush at much behind the barrel far away from um, the end and uh, I mean the brush end and uh, I'd use a fairly longer brush so that you have enough space to go back and obviously use a much bigger brush than you would use to paint uh, general details here you can see that I'm coming back and I'm adding some more lights because I am not going to put in a lot of details it would be very important in this kind of style of painting that my lights are right and my darks are really dark and the contrast is really really hyped up because that is what going to catch your eyes the contrast um, in loser style of painting contrast is really key and important because that is what is going to show off in your final painting now I'm working on the face technically this is the only area in the painting where I have used a smaller brush and tried to paint in some details because I thought I wanted to catch the expression of the face and the face being like really tiny like about even smaller uh, less than an inch area so I had to move on to a smaller paintbrush and had to paint in some details but other than that in the entire painting I have not at all worried about details and you know key things I've generally cached the shapes and paid more value on the uh, paid more deep uh, importance or paid more attention on the values and movement and light and shadows and contrast as you can see i'm perfecting the area around the face the hair i am not trying to paint in every single strand of hair i'm just trying to follow the general light and shadow hyping up the contrast using lots of highlights wherever i can so paying good attention to the values and hyping up contrast and using highlights sparingly but effectively as you can see this hand if I if I had been used painting in my usual realistic style probably would have taken me an hour just to do this hand and the jewelry or the ear or anything like that but in this sort of a painting in this small area but since it's a loser style painting it's much much faster and a much less details I'm just trying to capture the general motion of the hand general replacement of the hand the drawing still plays a very important part you have to follow the rules of anatomy because we are moving away from realism painting in a loser style but we are not going abstract where you can you know play around with the general anatomy the drawing still has to be very very good and very very accurate so no matter whether you're playing in realism or whether you are painting in a loser painterly style the drawing still has to be accurate to start off with now I'm going back to the body of the painting and again I'm just focusing on the general shapes and structures and uh, uh, the light and shadow kind of trying to give the impression of where the fabric is transparent and where there is like body parts behind it making it translucent or opaque and capturing the general feel of light and shadow and folds not going into details at all so the key here in painting in loser style is don't worry about the details follow the contrast light shadows and movement 
and this sort of a painting where you know the dress is flowing and uh, you can obviously see that she's kind of moving around the dancer is kind of moving around these are generally very good subject for painting in loser style because your focus will take you to the uh, your painting is taking the viewers attention to the general movement and the general movement the flow of the dress is what is going to catch attention and not the detail so Obviously, this makes a very good subject for uh, painting in a loser style. And uh, uh, like I said, since I generally paint in realism, definitely not hyper realism, that is going to take much longer and I do not have that kind of patience. But generally when I paint in realism, it takes me a lot longer than it took me in this particular painting. And I definitely liked it this time. Sometimes uh, when you are working on bigger, very intricate projects, if you kind of uh, uh, drop in smaller, less, uh, stylized, uh, stylized and less you know complicated projects like this more loser style that kind of keeps you energized motivated keeps the you know rhythm rhythm and pattern you know, keeps you motivated doesn't get you bored working on the same intricate things where you're not moving ahead very fast like now that you see I'm painting the feet again once again if I would have painted in realism it would have taken me hours to perfect uh, the feet and uh, the toes and the general you know structure uh, perfecting the anatomy but here I'm just going to pay attention to where the light is coming from so hype up the contrast put in the highlights in the right area maintain the general shape maintain the values and I'd be fine see uh, it's the same with the hands I'm just typing up the contrast around the hands so that the highlights really show up well and putting in teeny tiny I'm uh, not worrying about putting in teeny tiny details here and uh, and you can see that it's a very monochromatic painting uh, apart from blues and violets I've just used black and added in some warm colors at times but that's about it thank you for watching